Hi, it's Jamie. Finally. Finally. You guys have been asking me for a long time to do Instagram Live, Facebook Lives, but I feel like this is a better platform for me to connect with you guys. On my channel, you guys are going to see beauty tips, hair tips. We're going to have conversations about the entertainment business, what it's like to be a child star. But also I want you guys to give me feedback in the comments to let me know what you want to talk about. It can be random topics if you have questions, as long as it's positive. I want to talk about child stars and why everybody thinks that they are doomed and they're going to end up being fucked up. First of all, we know like 90% of them are, so we already know that conversation. But I want to give my perspective on it because I've been through it. I don't know. I just want to I want to touch on it to help you guys understand a little bit more about it and why they veer off the way that they do and they their lives turn into something that they probably didn't even imagine. When I was a little girl and I was on the show, I was I've stated this before, I was shy. And then that shyness turned into an anxiety. And that was only because from the shyness, I didn't want people in my face all the time. So while I was on set, I was fine. After I got off set, that's where I started having most of my problems concerning anxiety. And it only just stemmed from because I just didn't want people in my personal space and I didn't want all eyes on me. There was a couple of examples of when me and my sisters had went out um, and we went somewhere and you know, I had the usual people that would ask me, hey, can I get a picture and all that. But then there was also the ones that were like, hey, you know, you look familiar. Are you that little girl from? And I'll be like, no. <laughs> just because I did not want to be, you know, bothered with that. And, you know, I was 10 years old. I just, I had, I caught an attitude. And then there was another instance where I had to do this charity event. And I think, um, it was like, what is it called? It was like a, a dunk tank. I think that's what it is. And Kelly she played Laura she also was gonna do the dunk tank as well and I remember when it came to my time I was just like freaking out and it wasn't a panic attack because I don't think I've ever experienced that before but I was just like I saw all the eyes on me and everybody was like waiting for me to get dunked so that made me even more nervous and more shy and more like I want to get up out of here and um I just went off I was like hey, get me out of here like I was crying and all that and my sisters never seen me like that before so they were like girl chill out but that was my first case of you know being overwhelmed with you know so many eyes on me whatever I say all that to say because when you're going through that and you're a little kid turning into a teenager you tend to go places and do things that can help you relieve that so a lot of these child stars will go, you know, to clubs and they'll party and they may get into drugs and, you know, all that just because they're trying to escape. They're trying to escape that life and they just want to, they don't, they want to feel normal in a sense. And then from that, you know, after you take so many drugs, it becomes an addiction. And then from the addiction, you need to, the money that you're making, you got to pay for the addiction. So it's just, you know, it's all of that that spirals into a child star's life becoming just a stereotype. But this is really something that was really on my heart because earlier today I was reading an article. It was one of my friends that they were talking about and he, he is a child star and they were like dragging him through the comments. And, you know, I just wanted to give my perspective and, you know, I just wish that more people had compassion and empathy when it comes to uh, younger stars and celebrities because First of all, we, we're all human. Second of all, you never know what that person is going through. You don't know. A lot of the times these these kids are trying to live up to what people think that they're supposed to be or who they're supposed to be. So a lot of these teenagers, they're, you know, spending their money all crazy because they feel like that's how they're supposed to. That's their image. That's how they're supposed to come across. Um, and then there's some that, you know, just because they were on a show for three years does not make them rich. So they still have to put on that facade of acting rich. So it's just, it's a lot of variables and levels to being a child star. And I just really wanted to just give my perspective on that because dragging some of these people, it's just not cool. You know what I mean? It's just not, it's just not cool. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to touch on and also um, talk about how I've been saying this for years, I think that there should be some sort of organization for child stars, and it might sound crazy, but there's, I mean, 
come on, it's a lot of them that have went downhill. And I think that there should be somewhere, a therapy group that they can go to. Um, so, you know, but with people that they can relate to. So I think that this should have been done years ago before my time, like, like when there was happy days and all that, I think certain people from different shows that can relate to that, they should all come together through an organization and usher these people in to let them know, Hey, this is what I did when times are bad. This is how you can get out of it. This is how you build up your self esteem, whatever it is. I, I've always thought that there should be an organization like that, whether I start it or I don't, I still think that there should be there should be something like that because you never know it could lead to suicide it could lead to all types of just you know just bad stories that it's kind of like it's it's getting old to a lot of people but until somebody fixes it it's just going to keep repeating itself so anyway that's what i wanted to touch on today i will be talking about um like i said i'll be talking about fashion i'll be talking about beauty entertainment i'll be talking about motherhood my son will be in there because he's so cute and uh, yeah, bye guys.